Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Portillo. I'm with Houston Public Library. Today we will be looking at a microscopic viewing of the chemical reaction between baking soda and vinegar. Now I will be using a couple tools here. Here we have of course our ingredients of baking soda and vinegar, a glass dropper, two petri dishes, one right here, another one right here, a digital microscope which is connected to this laptop here, which we will be using to get a closer look at how these two ingredients react. Okay, so before we get started, I'm gonna give some background information on our ingredients. So the chemical name for baking soda is sodium bicarbonate, and the chemical formula is NaHCO3. So what this means is that uh, there is one atom of sodium, one atom of hydrogen, one atom of carbon, and three oxygen atoms in the formula which make up baking soda. And the chemical name for vinegar is acetic acid. The chemical formula is C2H4O2. And what this means is there is two carbon atoms, four hydrogen atoms, and two oxygen atoms in the formula. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add, and then here on the screen we have um, the um, little hint of baking soda. I'm going to go ahead and add a drop of vinegar to it. So what you're seeing here is um, is a chemical reaction between between both ingredients. So the reason why they react is because baking soda is a base and vinegar is an acid. So the hydrogen ions in vinegar react with sodium and bicarbonate atom ions in the baking soda. And the result is two new chemicals, which are carbonic acid and sodium acetate. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more to the rest of this so you can get a better look. And then the second reaction is a decomposition reaction. So the carbonic acid immediately begins to decompose into water and carbon dioxide gas. So the CO2 bubbles rise up to the top of the mixture creating bubbles and foam. Okay, well there you have it folks. So thank you for joining me. Again, my name is Jonathan and we'll see you next time.